Hi guys, how are you doing? Time for some side chat. everybody how's it going I am doing well it's going well I hope everything's okay with you guys I've had a, a laid-back kind of week didn't really do anything didn't really do too much shopping just I, of course I went to the boutique on Thursday you guys already know they had you know that it's um, every Thursday dollar day they had that and they had 25% off of everything else in the store so yeah so okay so guys I wanted to show you something right quick before I get into what I actually bought I made this right here you see I want to see let you guys see the spark I guess you can't anyway it sparkles and I was in I think it was where was I Home Goods or Burlington Comfort somewhere and I saw stuff like this and I'm thinking I'm not exactly sure how much they cost but it's like I made this this is one two dollars and then I had the rhinestones the little gems already so yeah I'm just sitting around watching TV one day and just started to put some rhinestones on stuff and um yeah so it was crazy I actually saw the ones you know, I, I I initially just put it on this right here, this part, and then I put the little ones around the side. And it's just been sitting up on my dresser for the longest, just not doing anything, just hanging out. And then um, the de other day when I went into that store and I saw it, they had the little jewels on the bottom, like right here. So I came home and I put some on mine, and I think it's cute. I probably don't won't use it for anything, but I did did it anyway. Um, go well, of course. I found these. This candlestick holders. And I got them because they match my room that you guys haven't seen yet. <laughs> the little, like, a blush pink. And these were a dollar each. So I got two. I went, oh, before I finish, I asked you guys, when well, it was the last time and time before, if you could guess why I bought this. And a couple of you actually answered, but um, the answer was because it has butterflies on it. That was the answer. Yeah. So my phone, my computer was swirling all this time. It finally came up. I don't know. It says no internet connection, but the at the bottom it said I had connection. So I don't know what was going on. Anyway, I went to no where did I go? Big lots. And I found this. Okay. Home sweet home. Now, I didn't really need this, but they were a dollar. Dollar. The original price was five. I paid a dollar. I got three of these. And what I'm going to do is I have a space in my kitchen. No, above my, the back door leading into my garage. That's empty that needs something. I'm going to put these there, but I'm going to paint the colors that's in my house in my in that area I'm gonna use I'm gonna leave the blue here but I'm gonna paint like in between the, the colors like right here in between the letters the color of some one of the colors I don't know what but that's what I'm gonna do and I'm gonna hang those the three of these up I also found this this was three dollars I don't even know why I got it because there's no place in my kitchen to hang this that's that's low and I'm saying that because it has these little hooks right here I can hang it up high but what's the use of having the hooks if I mean you can't hang something on it so if I hang it up high I don't have any area in my kitchen that's low enough to hang this to have something you know on it so I don't know why I even got this like a waste of time I was actually gonna um, paint this around here like the color of something that's in my kitchen and maybe like that blue I like or a beige or something right there but not a beige because beige here maybe like um, a brown or a tan I don't know but I guess I don't know what I'm gonna do with it now unless I take the little hooks off but I thought that was the cutest part that's why I bought it 
All right, and I got this. Now I paid the full price for this, which was $3.99 and it hurt my feelings, but I did it. But I got 25% off of that. But I saw this, if it'll come off the... And I thought this was so cute. This little candle thingy. And see the little rust in there? I like that okay, but I'm going to spray paint this like a cream color. And then I'm going to put gold on the leaves. So I'll let you guys see what I did after I did it. After I do it. But I thought this was cute. And I have a spot for it already. I think I'm going to put it in my living room somewhere. But we'll see. I also found these. And I paid full, full price for this too. Which was $2.99. I mean, excuse me, $1.99. And I got two of them. And I think I'll put these in my bathroom. But I thought they were so cute for $1.99. Isn't that cute? Hang some towels on it. I have a space in my bathroom that I can put these in. Two more things. I bought this. And this was a dollar. I'm going to hang it over the door in my guest room so that my guests can hang up like a towel or a robe or something in the room and I'm gonna leave it this color I might bling it out a little bit because it's silver white and like a turquoise color in there I think I'm gonna change the turquoise I'm gonna change that out but we'll see and the last thing I went to the Dollar Tree and I was looking for mirrors which I did find but I also saw these and I thought they were so freaking cute look at that and these are like stone. I thought that was so cute. I got a green, that color, this color, and almost like a, I don't know what color this is, almost like a pinkish metallic color. But I got those four, two of them, the little leaves came off. But that's not a big deal because I can glue that back on. But I thought that was so cute. I'm going to decorate with these for the fall. But those were cute. I was very surprised. It looks like something that you see in a store like um, Kirkland's or something. So it would have been nice if they were a little bit bigger. But I thought that these were really, really nice. Look, listen. So yeah. They only had four and I, I picked those four. But that's it, guys. So... Rodney and I are going to a um, place called Lake Havasu in a couple of days. And, um, yeah, so I actually want a, a vacation. I think I told you guys about that. And we're going to go down there for a couple of days. So I will try to vlog while I'm there. Is anybody out there going to watch the eclipse on Monday? We've been trying to find some glasses for my son. And I can't find any anywhere. I mean, I've looked just about every place anybody has told me to look. And, oh, we sold out. Oh, we somebody just bought the last one. Oh, we sold out last Saturday. Oh, we sold out this day. Oh, we didn't have any. And some of them were looking at me like I was crazy. And I'm basically like, if the website, if the... The internet is saying that your store carries these. Why don't you know that? Like Circle K, it says Circle K carried them, right? So I went in Circle K. I think I went in two or three of them. And they were like, what? What is it? Solar Eclipse glasses. Like, what are those? Like, you don't know? I'm thinking that if somebody should have told them, at least like, okay, well, well, it does say that, you know, this the store's Circle K's carry them, but our particular store does not have them. That way you wouldn't look stupid when somebody asked you about it. It's crazy. So, guys, I did get some of these. They were $1.50 at Marshall's. And it says, Clean Your Bling Super Shine. I have not tried them yet, but I didn't even realize it was this many in the box. I don't know how many in here. I don't know if it works. But I sure got some stuff that I can try it on. 
12. It says polish and clean silver, gold, and precious stones. Just wipe the surface of the jewelry to keep your favorite pieces looking like new. It says do not clean pearls, coral, or jade. Okay. All right, I'm gonna try this. I'm gonna find something. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm get, but I'm back. This is my little container of my jewelry that's tarnished that I actually need to to clean with silver polish. But I'm gonna try a piece. It didn't say it clean tarnished. I mean, it well tarnished stuff like this right here. My husband gave me for anniversary. This part stayed silver, but the chain tarnished but um yeah oops so I'm gonna try it and I have earrings these are sterling silver see how they tarnished so I'm gonna try it see what happens okay you know what and I need my scissors they're not in here okay boom. Open this. <laughs> you know what? Sometimes you gotta I use the little sticky part. Alright. Okay, this is a little wet thingy. Let's see. It's doing absolutely nothing. Uh oh, it's doing a little something. Not enough. See? See the part right there? It's doing something, but it's still not. It's, it's almost like it was gold, but this is actually silver. So it's cleaning something. Now, this is weird because. This side looks bronze and this side looks gold. So, I, you know what? Maybe I better stop before I mess up stuff. I'm going to try this. I don't know. I need the liquid kind that I could just drop this down in there. Okay. It's cleaning it. So, I guess it's good for something. I don't have time to be doing all this. Let me see. It's cleaning it. All right. Well, so it works. It won't get a stuck alert because it is cleaning it. All righty. See? All right. That's that. So guys, let me see if there's anything else. I see stuff all over the floor. I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. So, guys, let's get into this discussion. All right. I have an associate. I guess she's a little bit more than an associate, but associate, but yeah. Anyway, I'll say friend. She has a issue with another girl over a guy. I think it's about a guy. I can't keep up. But um she supposedly this the other girl supposedly liked the guy. And then she started liking a guy. She asked her friend, did she like him? She said no. So I guess she decided to to take it there with the guy. Now, I'm not gonna get all into everything because that's not my story to tell, but because she told me some things and even though you guys have no idea who she is, me being her friend, the fright type of friend that I am, I won't spill that stuff. So that's basically what this is about. 
her other friend well they're not friends anymore but she told some things that was shared between the two of them she told I guess folks in the church and the guy and um, other people just I guess whoever in so many words whoever will listen she told me personally I don't think that's cool I don't think it's cool because even though you know we're not if we're not friends anymore I'm not telling you to stuff that you told me in confidence or whatever that's not my place to tell so my question to you guys are do you think that once you're not friends anymore it's like it's okay to just go around telling everything that you know folks tell that folks shared with with you or about you whatever that you share with other people now the way that works for me is just like I told you stuff you told me stuff too so does that mean it's okay for me to go tell since you told my stuff see I'm not like that though I'm not I had a friend who well, we're not friends anymore she she did some stuff she said some stuff and you know real friends are on your side all the time no matter what they're not gonna talk about you behind your back and if, if they talk about you no one else better not say nothing if it's like I'm that type of person if someone's talking about my friend I'm like no I'm not gonna sit here and listen to you talk about her you're not gonna do that while I'm present if I say something about her that's one thing but you're not gonna say it so that's how I feel about situations like that but really 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 good friends of mine I don't have nothing to talk about them anyway so this girl, she was what I consider a really, really good friend of mine. And she just did some foul shit. And I stopped fooling with her and I told her exactly why. And um, I told her all this time that we were friends, you would blurt out stuff about me or say things in my presence and in my absence when other people were around. And I don't think that was cool. This is now, now that we aren't friends anymore, you know, you realize that I have a lot on you that I could tell some of that stuff about you you do realize that right and she just kind of looked at me but I've never ever ever shared her stuff with anybody no one so like I said oh how cute I just said how I just said I'm just asking what do you guys think about that you think it's like um fair game you do it to me I do it to you kind of thing or and if you feel that way that's that's fine you know some people do not feel that way for me personally I just feel like it's not that's not right but it looks like my camera's about to die one second I don't understand why my camera does that sorry about that guys but I'm back um at least it does give me a warning it starts to flash yellow but um I think that's pretty much that I've not cooked dinner yet so I'm gonna go and cook dinner and then I'm going to I'm cook something real fast maybe some fries and some catfish chips or some shit but um yeah so just let me know what you think about that down below guys I will talk to you later on another video and if I can I don't see why I can't but I'll be I'll blog blog in Lake Havasu and when I get there whatever um I always say I'm gonna come in maybe try to come in with another video before Saturday but um I don't know why you know I'm gonna just say this I know that my videos are not the best in the world my sat chats are basically what I do most of the time but I wonder why you can find I think I'm pretty interesting. I mean, I think I have some pretty good stories, but you find someone that's, I'm just going to say it, boring as fuck. Yeah, fuck. And they have thousands and thousands of subscribers. And then you find someone who you think is like, oh, I really like her. She might have 200. So guys, tell me what what's the secret? As I guess that, I think I told you guys once before, it was this little girl and she talked about, I don't know, it was a little girl to me. Anybody that's younger than me to me, I call them a little girl. She talked about Barbie dolls. She talked about um, what type of clothes they had on. And she did a, a video. She brought him a pair of shoes. She did a video about that. And this little girl had 
hundreds of thousands of subscribers and I'm thinking there are hundreds of thousands of people out there that's into Barbie dolls like that I don't know what the hell going on I, I don't you know what I'm gonna stop before I, I piss somebody off which you know don't come for me cuz anyway but yeah I just don't understand what what do you need to do in order to have more views it's like sometimes the subscriber count does not match the views and it makes me wonder why you know what I can't talk either because some people that I'm subscribed to I don't watch the videos I just don't um, I don't but I'm still subscribed every now and again I might watch something if the title was interesting to me if it's not interesting to me I don't watch but if I do watch I will comment uh, now they have the little heart feature you could just put the heart I'll do that if nothing else but um, and also if I don't comment or if you don't see a comment from me for the most part some people not there are some people out there I comment regardless of every time they make a video if I watch it I comment there are some people that I'll watch the video but I don't say anything so solid viewers I guess but um yeah some of the people I'm subscribed to I won't say anything but the ones that I have kind of like a rapport with I guess those are the ones that I comment on like the ones out there that have 50 million subscribers I'm not commenting on your video because you're not gonna see it anyway if that makes sense I'm not gonna do a comment there is one girl that I watch though she has hundreds of thousands of subscribers every single time I comment to her she comments back to me I don't know how she has time to do it because from the comments that I see it's like sometimes thousands of comments and I was like okay well maybe not thousands but hundreds how do you have time to comment to all those people and by the time you're done commenting to those there are other people commenting and then you have to go do those and then the other videos that you do you have to comment so in a way I'm kind of glad my subscriber count is kind of low or my comment from people is kind of low just for that reason but um i'm happy basically with what i have but i just i was always curious about why some people can just blow up and then other people just stay where they are when you know you're watching the video and you're like oh this person should really be up here or there but they're not is it because people just people just don't know about them or i mean what so yeah i just wonder Anyway, guys, that is not what this discussion was supposed to be about. I don't even know how I got off on um on that. But, yeah. I'm going to get out of here. So, guys, I'll talk to you later. Take care. Be good. Try to be good. But if you can't be good, be good at it. Tee.